The 66th Grammy Awards rocked Los Angeles, and it was a blast. There were family hangouts, true blue acts of friendship, and even moments where the winners got to meet their own idols. This MC is gonna stand by this MC for this, because this is just too iconic. Yeah, Miley Cyrus won her first award in the pop solo performance category. But it seems she was more thrilled about seeing her favorite singer on the stage. And I could have missed the award, that's fine, but not Mariah Carey. <laughs> Miley also snagged a record of the year win with her super hit, Flowers. She gave thanks to everyone and wrapped it up in her own style. I don't think I forgot anyone, but I might have forgotten underwear. Bye! The iconic TV host Oprah Winfrey couldn't contain her excitement, literally jumping out of her seat when Cyrus performed her Grammy-winning song live. As did many other celebrities, though. Overall, the Grammy Awards had a really friendly vibe. Big props to Trevor Noah, who hosted the Grammys for the fourth go-around. Right from the beginning of the show, he basically made Meryl Streep appear magically, just using his mind. Meryl Streep, one of the greatest Meryl Streeps of all time. She's gonna be in this chair. Oh, that, what? Huh? You thought I was lying! You don't have to apologize to me, Meryl Streep. Meryl then showed up on stage to present an award. I am so unbelievably honored to be here tonight to present the most important award of the night, the best album of the year. And her son-in-law, Mark Ronson, was right there with her. He assisted the actress in tackling the musical nominations because, for her, it turned out to be a bit of a challenge. No, 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 sorry, and sorry, it's for best, rec best record of the year. That's what I said, best album is a record, so. Mark gently clarified to his mother-in-law that she wasn't quite right, and in return, she cheered him on. But we already gave out the um, best song. That's a songwriter's award. That's yeah. the one you lost. Yeah, thank you. Oh. In the end, Streep kissed her daughter's husband on the cheek, making it one of the sweetest moments of the evening. Of course, there were some jokes involved. Trevor teased TikTok for not featuring music from a bunch of artists, and of course, how could he resist pulling a Taylor Swift prank? Trevor addressed the complaint from NFL fans about cameras always showing Taylor at games. So at the Grammys, he came up with a solution to the problem. I'm gonna give her a break. Every time, every time they mention Taylor Swift, I'm gonna get revenge. Every time someone says Taylor Swift, I'm gonna cut the cameras to someone who played football. That's what I'll do. Cut! Bam! Just like that! Right at that moment, the screen showed NFL veteran-turned-actor Terry Crews. Interestingly, this time, Taylor found the jokes about her quite amusing. Swift received extra special attention the entire evening. She was truly showered with love. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> I love you. Um... Oh, by the way, she got a bit more careful after the Golden Globes when reporters tried hard to decipher her chat with Selena Gomez. This time, she played it safe by hiding her face behind a fan. No chance for lip reading anymore, but here's the real deal. Last night, Swift achieved something truly remarkable. She became the first artist in music history to clinch four Grammys for Album of the Year. The singer dubbed it the best moment of her life. And we can totally believe it. Just check out Taylor's emotional reaction. Taylor Swift. Well, it looks like Swift is not stopping anytime soon. In fact, from the stage, she declared. Which is that my brand new album comes out April 19th. <laughs> it's called The Tortured Poets Department. What's cool is that, despite winning so many awards, Taylor stays down to earth. If she needs to fix her friend Lana Del Rey's hair before hitting the red carpet, she's totally up for it. Speaking of the red carpet, let's revisit that for a moment. Because things were seriously heating up there. It looked like the famous women were having a separate competition, and it was all about the most revealing outfit. Take a look at the pictures of Miley Cyrus, Halle Bailey, Heidi Klum, and Paris Jackson. Michael Jackson's daughter pulled off a feat. She hit a whopping 80 tattoos. I, I love my piercings, my tattoos, all the body mod stuff but uh, sometimes it can distract sure. from the art, sure. so. 
However, no doubt, Doja Cat stole the show. She didn't just wear a see-through dress, she went ahead and revealed her nipples. Now, that's something the Grammys have never seen before. Better not to show this to the kids. By the way, there were quite a few of them at the ceremony too. Kelly Clarkson was accompanied by her son Remington, while the piano man Billy Joel had his daughters, Della Rose and Remy Ann by his side. Best New Artist Victoria Monet also graced the carpet with her adorable baby girl Hazel. How cute! Even Jay-Z hit the stage with his eldest child, Blue Ivy. It looks like the girl was just thrilled for her famous dad when he received the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. You gotta keep showing up. Just keep showing up. Until they call you chairman, until they call you a genius, until they call you the greatest of all time. You feel me? The rapper also talked about his wife, Beyonce, in his speech and expressed dissatisfaction that she never got an award for the best album. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. A bit later, Jay-Z decided to celebrate unconventionally. He simply used the award as a substitute for a glass. We figure Billie Eilish needed to unwind in some way after the Grammys too. She was totally surprised that her What Was I Made For won the best song of the year. You can tell by her reaction. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. No doubt, the expression on the singer's face is meme-worthy, as well as her winning line. Whoa, whoops. Yikes. Goodness, damn, that's stupid, guys. There were moments that made almost everyone at the event shed a tear. The audience gave a standing ovation to Celine Dion. This was one of her rare public appearances since revealing her struggle with stiff person syndrome in December 2022. As we know, she's currently unable to sing due to her condition. Those who have been blessed enough to be here at the Grammy Awards must never take for granted the tremendous love and joy that music brings to our lives and to people all around the world. Joni Mitchell's appearance wowed everyone. Besides, she bagged the Best Folk Album Award. Can you believe it? An 80-year-old legendary singer performing at the Grammys for the very first time. A unique tribute was dedicated to the musicians who are no longer with us, with a special mention of the iconic Tina Turner and we can't skip the fact that the ceremony was mainly a celebration of women. In the words of Beyoncé, who runs the world? Girls. Ladies were the ones who walked away with the main awards of the evening. What's your take on the Grammys 2024? Who are you most excited about? And do you agree with the results? Drop your comments below.